We're untangling Objective 3.2, basic cable types and their connectors. Think of cables as the digital highways for data, and connectors as the specific on-ramps and off-ramps. Let's get connected. First up, network cables. The most common are copper twisted pair cables, the backbone of most wired Ethernet networks. The wires inside are twisted to reduce interference. Different categories define their speed limits. CAT5E supports gigabit Ethernet up to 100 meters. For 10 gigabit Ethernet, you'll need CAT6, good for 55 meters, or CAT6A, good for the full 100 meters. These cables can be unshielded, UTP, or shielded, STP. Shielding is like adding armor to protect against electrical interference. You might see special types like plenum rated cables, which have fire resistant jackets for use in office air spaces, or direct burial STP for running cables underground. We also have coaxial cables, common for cable internet and TV, which use a threaded F type connector. The ultimate speed demons are optical fiber cables. They use pulses of light, making them immune to electrical interference and perfect for very long distances. Multi-mode fiber is for shorter ranges, like within a data center, using LEDs. Single-mode fiber is for long-haul communication, spanning many kilometers, using powerful lasers. Next, peripheral and high-speed cables. USB, universal serial bus, is the king here, with versions like USB 2.0 at 480 megabits per second and USB 3.0 at 5 gigabits per second. Legacy serial cables, using the RS-232 standard, are now mainly used for configuring older network equipment via a console port. Thunderbolt is a powerhouse, bundling high-speed data and power into one cable. Thunderbolt 3 and 4 use the versatile USB-C connector and can achieve 40 gigabits per second, even allowing you to daisy-chain multiple devices. Now for video cables. HDMI, High Definition Multimedia Interface, is the standard for TVs and monitors, carrying both digital video and audio in one cable. DisplayPort also carries digital video and audio, and is known for its packetized data and locking connectors. DVI, Digital Visual Interface, is for video only. It comes in DVI-A for analog, DVI-D for digital, and DVI-Y for integrated, both. A dual-link DVI-D cable can support higher resolutions than a single link. And the legacy VGA, Video Graphics Array standard, is for analog video only using a blue 15-pin connector. For hard drives, the standard is SATA, Serial AT Attachment, which uses a 7-pin data cable and a 15-pin power cable. For external drives, there's eSATA, which uses a different, more durable connector. And let's quickly identify some key connectors. RJ11 is your smaller telephone and DSL connector. RJ45 is the larger 8-pin connector for Ethernet. It's crucial to know the T568A and T568B wiring standards to ensure cables are made correctly. T568B is most common in the US. Hey, quick pause. As we're going through all this technical info, I just want to check in for a second because I know that feeling of watching tons of videos, having notes everywhere, but still not knowing if you're really ready for the pressure of exam day. It's a tough spot to be in, and it's easy to waste time just spinning your wheels. And that's exactly why we built the Tech Vault Academy ecosystem, to turn that uncertainty into a clear, confident plan. It all starts on our freebies page, seriously. You can take our A plus readiness quiz to get a real sense of your starting point or download the six-week study plan to get a proven roadmap. Then, when you're ready to master the content, we've got the toolkit. Our comprehensive practice exams, the brand new a flashcard decks for active recall, and our famous last-minute review slides to lock it all in. And maybe, most importantly, you don't have to do it alone. You can join our private community, the Tech Vault Hub, to ask questions, share wins, and connect with other students who are on the exact same journey. It's a full support system, and we bundle everything together in our mastery bundles so you can get the best value. Okay, that's it. I just really wanted you to know that that entire support system is there for you whenever you need it. You can check it all out, starting with the free tools at techvaultacademy.com slash free dash resources. All right, let's get back into it. For fiber optics, you have the twist and lock ST connector 
the push-pull square SC connector and the compact clip style LC connector. A punch-down block is used in wiring closets to terminate many cables neatly without putting a connector on every single wire. For power, the older 4-pin Molex connector provides 12 volt and 5 volt power to peripherals inside a PC. And for mobile devices, you'll see micro USB, mini USB, Apple's proprietary lightning connector, and the modern reversible USB-C connector, which can handle data, power, and video. Finally, the DB9 connector is the 9-pin serial port connector used for those legacy console connections. And don't forget adapters. They are the essential problem solvers that bridge the gap between different connector types like DVI to HDMI or USB to Ethernet. So for your A plus exam, here are the main ideas. Know your network cables, copper, UTP, STP by category versus fiber, multi-mode, a single mode. Identify your video cables, HDMI, DisplayPort, audio, video versus DVI, VGA, video only. Recognize your connectors, RJ45 for Ethernet, RJ11 for phone, DSL, and the key fiber types, ST and LC. And understand that modern connectors like USB-C and Thunderbolt are multi-purpose powerhouses.